Mac. So in today's video, we're talking about six settings on your Galaxy phone that you absolutely need to disable. And the first one is to hide your passwords or your PIN. So to show you what this looks like, by default, what happens is when you go to any website and you try logging into any of your accounts, when you start typing your password, you can see that it will display the letter of the last character that you're putting in. So you can see what password you're typing in. But if you have anybody who's looking at your screen or hovering over your shoulder, they can see exactly what, ty what password you're typing. And this is true for anywhere that you log in online, even for your banking information. So you definitely wanna go ahead and disable it. And to do that, what we gotta do is go to your phone settings, scroll down to security and privacy at the bottom go to other security settings and then right there you'll see an option that says make passwords visible we're going to go ahead and disable this and now what you're going to see is when we go back and we start typing our password it is not going to show any of the characters that we're typing in so nobody is going to be able to see what your password is and you're also going to want to do this for your lock screen so you can see anytime you try to unlock your phone from your lock screen if you're using a pattern like i am when you start typing your pattern it will show you exactly the pattern that you're making so anybody who's looking at your phone will be able to see what pattern you put in to unlock your phone and they will be able to gain access to your phone so that's definitely also not something you want and to change it we're going to go back into our phone settings then scroll down to lock screen in here tap on secure lock settings put in your pin or password and then you'll see an option here that says make pattern visible we're going to disable this and now you're going to see anytime that we try to uh, unlock our phone from the lock screen it is no longer going to show us our pin password or a pattern right there and you can log into your phone without anyone else seeing what your password is so definitely two very important security settings that you should absolutely change right now all right guys now for the next setting what we're going to do is go into our phone settings scroll down to battery and device care down here tap on memory and then down at the bottom you'll see an option that says ram plus and you can see it says ram plus uses your phone storage space to provide virtual memory now i've already made a full video about why you should disable ram plus but essentially unless you have a mid-range or budget phone or a really old phone that's really low on ram you really don't need this especially if you have a modern day flagship phone you can see that this phone has 12 gigabytes of ram i am never going to peak this ram so ram plus or virtual ram is never even going to get touched on this phone so there's no reason to keep it on and even if you have a mid-range phone for most cases and you do sometimes use ram plus it's really not going to speed up or improve the performance of your phone that much but what it will do is cause wear and tear on your internal ssd on your storage because it is constantly writing to your storage and that's really not good for your storage over the long run so i would definitely go ahead go in here disable this ram plus feature and then restart your phone to apply this change all right, guys, now this next setting is also really important to change because it is a really easy way to accidentally dox yourself or unknowingly share your location with somebody else. Now, what I'm talking about is anytime you take a photo, every single picture has metadata attached to it. So if you swipe up on your photo, you can see all of the metadata attached to your photo, like where it is stored, how much res resolution or megapixel it has. But most importantly, down here, you can see that it has the exact address and location of where this photo was taken and if you share this photo with somebody else if you send it to somebody all the metadata of this photo goes to that person as well and they can see the location where you are located when you took your photo so it's very important to turn this off and to do it what you need to do is go into your camera application on your phone tap on the settings uh, icon up here and down here, you'll see an option that says location tags right there. It says add tags to your pictures and videos so you can see where they were taken. So go ahead and disable this feature. And now anytime you take a photo on your camera, it will no longer tag the location of where you took this photo. And when you share this photo with somebody, they will not be able to know the location of where this photo was taken. Now for this next setting, what we're gonna do is limit which applications have access to certain aspects of our phone, like our location, camera, or microphone. And this can get very important. The more applications you download over the years, you might be sharing a lot of the permissions on your phone that you really shouldn't be sharing with certain applications. So to go over and audit this what you want to do is go to your phone settings scroll down to apps tap into here tap on the three dots up here and then go to permission manager and now you can see you have all of the things on your phone that any application might ask for access to so what you can do is tap on anything so let's say camera you can see 23 of the 63 apps 
that are installed on my phone have access to the camera. And if you want to audit this and see what exactly has access to your camera, just tap onto here. Now, obviously there are certain applications that are going to need access to your camera, like the camera itself, Instagram, any of your social media things, but make sure that even if it does need access to your uh, camera, it's only in the allowed while in use. These applications will only access the camera when I'm actually using the app, but it will not be allowed all the time. So if you have anything in all the time in any of these categories, you want to make sure you go ahead and remove it and set it to only while in use. And if you think that there's any apps that probably don't need access to some of these things, definitely go ahead and remove them. All right, guys, now this next setting is for anybody who uses the edge panel on their phone. And what you need to do is make sure that when you're on your phone's lock screen, your edge panel is not accessible. You can see that by default, I can actually pull my edge panel out from my lock screen and you can see I have my whole clipboard history in here. So if you ever copy and pasted any of your password or login information, it will show up up there. And also if you have any, you know, previous conversations or notifications, everything just shows up in your edge panel. And this could be a bit of a security risk if you're talking about any sensitive data or you have anything saved in your clipboard that could have a password. So you definitely want to make sure that your edge panel is not accessible from your lock screen because that way anybody can access it without even going into your phone. So to change that, what we're going to do is go to settings, then go to your phone's display settings in here, go to where it says edge panel. So we'll scroll down. Here it is edge panels in here, tap on panels, hit the three dots up here and go to hide on lock screen. And now you can select which panels you want to hide on your lock screen. So you can see I have my clipboard. I definitely don't want that because I sometimes copy paste passwords. You can also hide your recently downloaded files, any messages or phone calls that come through, any reminders that you set. And of course you can leave things like your calculator so that you can quickly use it directly from your lock screen but definitely go through here and disable any edge panels that might have sensitive information on them from showing up on your lock screen and now you can see when i go to my lock screen the only thing that should be visible here is your calculator you can see everything else has a lock on it because it's not accessible but i can still go ahead and use my calculator all right guys now the last setting we're going to change is to change which applications can actually show content on our lock screen so again if we go to our lock screen and maybe somebody texts us a message with maybe a temporary password or like an amazon gift card if that application has access to show content on our lock screen, anybody who's looking at our lock screen will be able to see that password or that Amazon gift card and potentially steal it. So what we're going to want to do is allow only certain applications to show content on our lock screen. And to do that, we got to go to our settings, go to notifications, tap lock screen notifications. And right here, you'll see show content and hide content. So if you don't want any applications to show content on your lock screen, just go ahead and set it to hide content. But if you want certain applications to show it, select show content and then tap on this gear icon. And now you can select exactly which applications can show content on your lock screen. So you can see, I actually have a lot of them enabled and this is probably not the best idea. You, might, you definitely want to go ahead and disable a lot of these. And actually right there, you can see I have banking enabled. So my CIBC banking application can actually show sensitive information on my lock screen. I definitely don't want that. So I'm going to disable that. And now anytime I get a notification from my CIBC banking application, the notification will not show content on my lock screen and I'll actually need to unlock my phone to see exactly what that notification says. So again, go through here and make sure that you disable anything that you don't want to show content on your lock screen. But there you go, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And if you enjoy these Samsung Galaxy tips and tricks videos, definitely check out my Instagram and TikTok, where I post a lot of short form content about some of the best Galaxy tips, tricks and features and settings that you might not know. I guarantee you, you're going to learn some cool stuff over there. But that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.